let's talk about garlic scapes. What are they? Why are they there? Why are they sometimes not there? And what to do with them. So that's what the video is today about. We have a little bit of the weather going on here with a lot of wind and a little bit of like, yeah, changing lighting conditions. So I hope <laughs> you can bear with me here because that was the only time window we could record this video. So what are garlic scapes? Garlic scapes are the bloom stalks which are pushed up by hard neck garlic varieties. You won't find garlic scapes for soft neck varieties. Don't ask me why. I just know <laughs> it's this way. Only the hard neck varieties produce scapes. And with that, the hard neck garlic is something what you find more in colder climates here, like our northern climates. And the soft neck garlic is what's grown in warmer climates. And yeah. And as always, there are like plenty more varieties um, out there, but those are like the three main categories you will find the garlic in. And the cool thing with the hardening garlic is you get in a um, step already before you harvest the garlic, which is a scape, which you can use as well in the kitchen. So what is the scape actually? So as I mentioned, it is a bloom stalk. You can see here on the top, this is where it would develop a bloom out of it eventually if you let it grow. But we don't want to let it grow because whenever a plant produces a bloom and the bloom eventually goes to seed, that takes up a lot of energy. And we want to make sure that the garlic is producing really, really nice bulbs and put all the energy in the ground. So for that reason, we want to cut those garlic scapes off. So I just typically go in and cut the garlic scape off at the bottom or at the um, intersection where it peeks out of the plant. Um, when you look around online, you find some people who can actually pull it out and get a little bit more out of it. Like, let's try it. I've never, never had luck with it. Yeah, for me, it always <laughs> breaks off. So I typically just um, like to cut it um, anyway. So it's just easier that way. And then again, you can see it here. It's beautiful. Um, it tastes very, very like light garlic. It's not like you would chew on it. Um, garlic clove or so it is really really mild and typically I use the entire garlic scape up to let's just say an inch before this bloom stalk starts because that is usually where it gets a little bit woody and chewy a little bit like an um like at asparagus when you're on the bottom of the asparagus where it's not so um, fine anymore. So that gets a little same thing here with the garlic scape. So I typically like literally stop like an inch before, discard the rest, but use all of this. And what can you use that? It's basically like any other like cut vegetable. Um, I love to use it in stir fries, just cutting it up um, and um, yeah, putting it in a pan or a lot of people make also pesto of it. Um, so there are a bunch of good recipes out there. So let's go cut them. I usually cut them at a stage where they're like swirled around. This one was a little early. I could have left that one a little longer, but it's all good. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Here you can see, as with everything in the garden, not everything is ready at the same time. This one just started to push the scape out here. So you can see here that bloom stalk starting. That will probably take another week or so to be harvested. And then this one, this one is like medium. We'll get that one out in a little while. And we have a few ones again, which are just starting. So that's just what I keep an eye on with my garlic moving forward. And now you're wondering when is an actual time to harvest the garlic? When is a time to actually harvest the garlic? It's typically around four weeks after you harvested the scapes. And what we're looking for is the bottom three leaves to be dry. Over here, you can see only this one starts to dry. That's not even fully dry yet. And those are still perfectly green. So this will still take a little bit more time for the garlic to go through its life cycle. And why it's so important to have those green ones turn brown is because this is the protective layers of the paper around the garlic clove. You want to have a few layers, but not all the layers. So we are not waiting until the garlic fully dried out with all leaves. That 
for some reason has negative um, effects on the storage life as well when it's too too dry don't ask me why i just know that it is <laughs> but um the perfect balance is to be like between two to three leaves dried out to pull them and then let them cure outside to dry out further and i'll show you the process when we have the time for that and when it comes to that